Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and we got uh, Gunslinger Suicidal Biotics Lab. That's right, it's a good map. It's a good map. I like this map a lot. I really don't have to talk so much. It's like spiking. I need to get a better microphone. It's really the thing. Um, cause this one spikes a lot, and it's just like loud and terrible. It's expensive, though. It's expensive getting a new microphone, but I think I can talk a lot quieter than I have been. I don't want to go down this way. This is a terrible way to go. You go up this way. I didn't get a single kill from that, are you now serious? Take this. The gunslinger grenades are just like worthless, man. They're terrible. On the last episode we talked about uh You know a lot of the things that uh that I don't like about myself, the things that I need to work on, things that I need to change. And I think in this episode we're gonna touch briefly on uh, on the things that I do like about myself, the things that uh that I am happy of. Um I'm not going to talk about all of them because not all of them, not all of them are appropriate for uh, for conversation, but we'll talk about some of them. Anyway. Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll uh, I'll change the branding on the channel and we'll talk about the the more dirty details as well. But uh, for now, I, I wanted to keep it a little bit more, uh, not family friendly, but accessible. Specifically not family friendly. Uh, it is not a family friendly channel. Your kids should not be watching this. But, more accessible. You know, a lot of people don't like seeing a lot of that kind of stuff as well, not just kids. Um, but, maybe, maybe one day. I mean, like I said before, I'm probably going to get into vlogging, and I'll probably talk about a lot of the uh, the specifics at, uh, at that point, because that's the point. Um, but, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see, right? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. As for things that I do like myself, I like the YouTube series. I'm extremely happy with this. I'm proud of what I've accomplished on uh, on YouTube so far. We haven't gotten too much of a following. We don't have too much viewership, but I'm I'm happy and very proud of the uh, the time that I've put into it and the uh, the number of episodes that I've accomplished and the consistency that I've been doing. Cause it's it's highly unusual for me to be able to do anything like this, but uh, we've I've done it and I uh, I've I've bragged about it. A lot to a lot of people. Um, I'm very, very pleased with it. So, YouTube's thing is probably the thing that I am most happy about in my life right now. Honestly, um, just it feels really, really good to to finally have been able to to sit down and pick a thing that I'm going to be passionate about and then be passionate about it. Because for so long in my life, I have. Pick the thing that I'm gonna be passionate about, and then I was passionate about it for you know a month or two, and then I got bored of it, and I'd, I'd move on. And there'd be no stakes, there'd be no commitment, there'd be no dedication, uh, and I would be disappointed in myself constantly. I'd, I'd have projects and I'd never follow through on them, and I've, I've followed through on this one. I have, uh, you know, I haven't made it to the big time, but if I if I can't make it there, it's definitely not for lack of effort, it's not for lack of motivation, it's not for lack of dedication. Um, efforts, work, consistency, it's, it's going to be just because I wasn't capable of doing it. And if, if I'm not capable of doing it, then I'm not capable of doing it. And that's okay. You know, I'll feel good about failing. Um, I'll, I'll feel sad, but I'll feel good about it. It'll, it'll still be something that I'm, I can be proud of. So I'm, uh, I'm highly, highly okay with, uh, with everything that's going on with the YouTube series. With the YouTube channel in general. And we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of changes, a lot of improvements very soon, and I'm also excited about those. And it feels super, super good to have something to be so uh, so happy about and so passionate about, because it's uh, it's not something I've ever had before um, in my life that uh, that I was able to to hold on to for for so long. Um, and and yet I've done it, and that's 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 extremely, extremely, extremely pleasing to me. So. The YouTube thing is probably my, my happiest thing to think about right now. The the thing that I'm the most proud of, for sure. I'm calling dibs on any handheld uh, which is sad because it's around. it's not much yet, but it's uh for for me it's 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 such a monumental uh, accomplishment that's oops it, it warrants um pride and uh you know it's it's, it's very uh, I'm very happy with it anyway. Uh, another thing that I'm very happy with in my life right now would be, uh, that's it. <laughs> I don't know, like, the, uh, like, uh, you, you, you tell me about the things that I'm self-conscious about, like, uh, 
I can I can name the the things because I think about it more. When you when you ask about the things that uh, that I'm happy about, there are only so many that I think about, and not all of them, like I said, are, are super appropriate for for the channel's discussion because a lot of them involve hormones, and hormones only affect a few specific things. I'll let you use your imagination. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, I am I am happy about a number of things. I just I can't talk about them all. And then uh, you know if you put me on the spot, it's a lot harder for me to to think about it. It's a lot harder for me to think. About. I'm happy with Twitch as well, but I kind of wrap that up with the uh, the YouTube thing. Um, I'm happy with my RuneScape progress actually. My RuneScape progress is going fantastically. It's a, it's another thing where. Normally I would have quit by this point, but I've been able to, to stick with it, and it feels really, really good to uh, to be able to make uh, accomplishments and achievements that I've uh, that I've been striving for for like 20 years in that game now. You know, I knocked out 99 agility recently, and that was fantastic. Like that was that was something I never thought I'd get in my life, and I got it. And uh, I remember talking about people before. Uh, about being proud of, uh, of accomplishing something in RuneScape. Like when I got 99 uh, Slayer on my Iron Man for the first time ever, uh, I was I was super proud of that for for much of the same reason. Like it was uh, it was an accomplishment that I've never had before, and and being able to like the way that I got it was was similar to, to what I was saying about YouTube, where I was able to sit down and I was able to make it happen, and I was able to stick with it and accomplish something that I set my mind to. And even though it's just an accomplishment in a game, the perspective shift that came with it was so monumental to to my life that. It's uh, it ended up being a lot more to to me than than just 99 Slayer, and, and because of that, it was a moment in my life that I take great pride in. And uh, people ultimately would say, "Look, it's just a game. Like, who cares? You got 99, you got 99 Slayer in a game. Like, you beat a game, dude. Who cares?" And I'm like, "Well, like, yeah, but like, you know, for for me personally, being able to stick with it and make it happen was was so meaningful." And uh, it's kind of a similar thing with RuneScape right now, where I've uh, I've gotten the uh, I have the Vindictus boss log, which I was able to make happen. I never thought I'd get a boss log of any sort done. Um, I have the Greg boss log. I grinded that one out on the last Twitch stream. Finally finished it up, which was really really nice. Again, never thought I'd get one done, let alone two. Um, I'm working towards uh, the DK's log right now. I'm working towards uh, Hellweir as well, sort of. Um, I want to get Godward's Dungeon 2 done. I'm, I'm doing like Telos and Rax. I'm doing Nex, like solo Nex. And, like, these are all things that I never would have thought that I'd do. And, and I was able to stick with it and practice it and make it happen. And even though it's just a game, to me it's, it's, uh, it's meaningful because uh, it shows that I was able to accomplish something that I set my mind to. So even though it, even though it might seem small, it's, uh, it's a lot more than that to me, personally. Because of, uh, because of the, the meaning and the, that it, that it kind of carries with it, you know? So I'm happy with the RuneScape progress. It's, uh, it's very nice to me. I'm also happy with the time that I'm investing in RuneScape. I'm not getting obsessed with it. I'm not putting a, a ton of time into it. I'm actually putting in not an awful lot of time into it these days. On the weekends, you know, this weekend I'm putting in a lot of time because uh, it's my weekend. It's my time off. I'm going to be able to do that. I have D&D &D tomorrow, but, uh, you know, I'm investing a, a healthy amount of time into to RuneScape. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. I'm happy with that. Let's see other things that I'm happy about. I want to keep it lighter, right? I want to keep it lighter than the last episode, which was a little depressing. It's not working so well, because I can't think of things that I'm happy about. <laughs> uh, other things that I'm happy about. I don't know, I think it's important to think about uh, both the things that you like in your life, no matter how minor, you know? I think it's important to think about them every now and then, because you spend so much time thinking about the things you're self-conscious about. And... Uh, you know, it ends up just being this kind of like uh, circle where, where you're thinking about these things and then you think, oh, my life just sucks because of this and this and this. And then you're just thinking about that and you're like, yeah, really, like there's just nothing good and, and you can never think of the good things in your life and you never appreciate them. And, um, it's bad. It's bad. It kind of spirals you into this depression and nobody wants that. So I think it's important to, to pay attention to the things that you like as well. Um, I've got a new knife. I like my knife a lot. I have a lot of fun with that. I've got whetstones. I'm happy for those. I like sharpening knives. It's uh, it's good fun. I like having sharp knives. Um, you yeah, know, that's been a, a change in my life fairly recently where I was able to start sharpening knives and uh, as a result start using sharper, better knives. Which is uh, which is very 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 nice. Using a sharp knife is just so much better. I guess I haven't had like a proper sharp knife 
uh, in your kitchen before, then like I highly recommend getting some whetstones because it makes such a difference to you as a as a cook to, to be able to use a knife that actually does what you want it to. And it's not more dangerous to have a sharp knife. It isn't. It's it's more dangerous to have a dull knife because with the with the sharp knife, like when I'm cutting a when I'm cutting, I cut up uh, some green onions already, right? I didn't have to apply any pressure. I just let the knife fall into the green onions and they'd get cut, you know? Because the knife is really, really sharp. Well, it's not really, really sharp, but it's sharp enough to, to where I don't need to, to worry about cutting myself because I don't have to apply enough pressure that uh, if an accident happened, it would ever go through, like, my thumb. Now, if I was applying so much pressure that it was going to go through my thumb, um, I'm an idiot, you know? I'm dumb. Uh... And I uh, need to not apply that much pressure because a it's not good for the knife and then B it's not good for you but like you just you're not applying so much pressure that uh, that it can happen so it's uh, it's quite nice it's been nice having sharp knives uh, let's see what else what else what else do we have going on in life right now that's good Yamachek tries them actually it's, it's kind of like in the YouTube thing but the Yamachek tries thing is super 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 fun I get to try a lot of games and have fun with that um. That's it. Okay, I can't think of other things that I'm I'm particularly happy with. I mean, I like like I like playing KF2. I like recording. I like uh, streaming. I like being able to talk to my friends. I like being able to to lose weight right now. But you know, it's a little bit stressful because I have to worry about not under eating so much. But such is life. I think that's enough of the positive things, though, right? I think it's enough. We need to talk about the more important stuff. Like what? I don't know, man. I have to think of a. I have, I have to think of a topic. I have to think of a topic. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I told a story on uh, Twitch the other day about uh, how I like tomatoes. I like tomatoes a lot. Tomatoes are, are my favorite uh, fruit. They are my favorite fruit. People say don't put them in a fruit salad. I say screw you. I'm putting it in my fruit salad because they're delicious. Who cares if they don't quite fit? They're really, really good. Uh. You got some oranges, you got some tomatoes, they go well together. Okay, I say they go well together because you got the tomatoes. You want to skip the oranges? Give me the tomatoes. I like tomatoes a lot. I've always liked tomatoes. Uh, even as a kid, even as a, as a child, you know, four years old, five years old, I liked tomatoes. Tomatoes are good, and uh, they're lovely, and I would eat them, and I would eat as many tomatoes as you would give me. If you gave me a handful of tomatoes, I'd eat a handful of tomatoes. Give me a bucket of tomatoes, I would eat a bucket of tomatoes. You know, as a kid, I had uh, I had no limits on the number of tomatoes I would eat. These days, I uh, I do. I I, uh, I limit myself on the, uh, the tomato consumption because I don't think that eating that many tomatoes is good for you. Eating that many of any one food isn't particularly good for you. But uh, in the past, I didn't have that because I was four years old. I was like four or five years old. You know, you don't have that self-control. You don't have that uh, knowledge. You don't have the, uh, the ability to understand that it might not be a good idea to eat an entire bucket of tomatoes. Um, but as a kid, you know, I would. And uh, one day I was at my uh, my grandparents' house. And these are like, uh, you know, like old European peeps, right? Like they uh, they got their clean house and they want their house clean. You know, uh, dust is bad, and uh, floors that are ridiculously slippery because they've been waxed are better than uh, floors that are actually safe to walk on because at least they're clean. You know, yeah, the clean is the most important part. Safety comes second. Um, Anyway, I ate a lot of tomatoes, and uh, one day I was on the on our staircase. And it was uh, it's like a white carpeted staircase, right? You know, these people like clean houses. Like, their carpets better be white. Um, and uh, one day, I I guess I'd eaten too many tomatoes, or I had uh, eaten something that didn't quite agree with me, because uh, I was on this uh, this staircase of. Uh, you know, the staircase of, of whiteness, of uh, purity. Because purity is, uh, is white, generally, for some reason. I wonder why that is. It's probably a racist thing, I'd imagine. I would imagine it would be, right? Um, anyway, I was on this side of the staircase, and uh, I threw up all over, right? So I ate too many tomatoes, I threw up all over. And what color are tomatoes? What color, what color are tomatoes? It's a pop quiz. What color? our tomatoes. That's right, it's red, it's red, it's red. You got it right. Good job, good job. I'm proud of you. Now, uh, color do you think the, the vomit was all over the, uh, the red carpet now, or the white carpet, which was now red because it was, uh, horribly stained from the, uh, 
from the, the tomato vomit. Now my parents came up and they thought it was blood because uh, it's all red, right? And uh, they're starting to panic and like wonder what's going on. My dad eventually found like tomato peels or something. He's like, I think it's just tomatoes. <laughs> And it was, it was just tomatoes, but I threw up tomato, like, juice everywhere, basically. So I just ate so many tomatoes that, uh, that it was red. It was red, man. It stained it all, and oh, it, was, uh, it was a whole thing. I don't remember it so much, but people tell me the story every now and then. I remember, uh, you know, moments of it, but uh, not 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 enough to be able to tell a story of uh, my own about it. Unfortunately, I have to I have to repeat the stories that I've heard from other people telling me about my uh, my my antics as a child. Speaking of memory, I uh, I don't have any memory of riding on a train. Right? As like I uh, I would say that I've never ridden a train. I would say that I uh, I never I've never I've wanted to ride a train for for years now, years and years and years, like four, five, six years. I've wanted to ride a train. I wanted to get on a train and and go for a train ride and experience it. But there are no trains here. They closed maybe eight years ago, I think, something like that. Um, but there are no trains here anymore. They're all gone, right? And uh, so, so, so far as I was concerned, I had never ridden a train before. It was, uh, it was an experience that I've never had. And uh, even right now, I, I would still say that I, I, uh, I, I have never experienced riding a train, or at least I don't have the experience of riding a train. I don't know what it's like. I, I do not know what, uh, what riding a train is like, because I've never ridden one in, uh, in memory. But I got, a, uh, I got a letter from my grandmother yesterday. She lives out in a uh, different province. And uh, she sent over a letter for my birthday, which comes up in five days. Oh I'll be working, but it's fine. And uh, she sent me a letter in a in, like a birthday card. It was actually one of the first birthday cards that I've gotten that uh, that was like for her, you know. And uh, so that was that was pleasing. It was nice to get. Um, it just felt good. But anyway, um. In the card, in the in the card was a letter, and in the letter she wrote, "Remember that time we took the train ride up Island?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no." So I, I told my sister about it. She's like, "Yeah, no, you went on a train ride." I'm like, "No, I have absolutely no memories." So she's uh, she's asking if I have uh, if I if I remember. She's like, she's like it's like this whole list of things we used to play um in her apartment. We used to throw paper airplanes down the staircase and um, walk down to the beach and and go you know feed the ducks and at the uh, at the park and do all kinds of things. And it was like this uh, nostalgic kind of a kind of a letter, right? And. Uh, One of the things was that we went on a train ride together, and I'm like, I, I don't remember that. Like, all, like for years now, I've been uh, I've been wanting to go on a train because I just I've I've never been on one as, as far as I'm aware. And uh, apparently, my whole life is a lie because I have I have ridden a train before, once. I have ridden one train. I've been on a plane. I I do remember that one. Actually, I don't remember it much, but I do remember it vaguely. I mostly just remember that I went to Disneyland, and that to get there we rode on a plane. I don't remember. I don't really remember the ride at all. But um, anyway, I've got uh, I've got friends to talk about uh, how they're on trains and stuff all the time because they live in you know, Europe and often the UK or China or Japan or you know, wherever, right? They're off in Florida or New York or whatever. And they're like, yeah, I'm on the subway. I'm like, I want to be on a subway, dude. And they're like, well, it's not that fun. I'm like, no, but like. Like, I've, I've played in the snow, you know? You've, you've never played in the snow. You want to play in the snow? Trust me, it's not that fun. It's cold and terrible. It's painful. You don't want, like, it doesn't matter. But, you know, since you've never done it, it's, like, exciting when uh, when snow comes, right? You're like, whoa, I want to make a snowman. You're like, I'm going to make a snowman. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a snow angel. I'm like, wow, you're such a nerd, you know? Such a geek. What are you doing, weirdo? Why are you lying down in the snow? It's cold. You get sick. <laughs> you know, like, it's just... It's such a such a whale. It's such a normal thing to, to get snow in the winter. Um, and then for for you know a lot of people it's it's not. But for them taking a subway is normal. For me taking a subway is not. And so for me riding a subway is an exciting uh, adventure. 
Even though it would be the most boring thing in the world to somebody who has to do it every day. You know, like that's that's kind of what it boils down to, right? Is these people have to like they have to ride the subway to, to school, and so all the memories they have of the ride in the subway are like, I'm gonna be late to school. The stupid train is late. Ah, uh, you know, like oh, there's a delay. We're not gonna be able to get on. I'm not gonna be late to school. You know, like that's that's their experience with it. Um, whereas for me, I just be like, yeah, I just want to ride the train. Like, where are you going? Where are you going, train? I'm on you, but like, where are we going? Where are you taking me? Where's the destination? I didn't check. I just wanted to get on the train, you know? Um, because it's it's exciting. I've never, from what I from what I can remember, I've never ridden on a train, and uh, apparently, apparently, that's been a lie all my life. So I've, I've been telling people that uh, that I envy them for being able to just go and hop on a train, and uh, meanwhile. I am a uh, I am a person who has ridden a train before. I don't I don't get to say that I've never ridden a train. I have to I have to clarify that I have no memory of riding a train. You know, and uh, I don't know. I'm I'm still gonna say that I've never ridden a train because uh, like I have no memory of it. So you know, it might clarify if uh, if it's important. You know, if it's like. You know, uh, hey, uh, we know the answer, and if you don't give us the right one, you're gonna die, and we're gonna kill you. And I'll be like, uh, yeah, I've, I've ridden a train. I have no memory of it, but I've ridden a train. And, uh... You know, thankfully that situation didn't happen before, because uh, I would've definitely said no. You know? I, w I would've said no, I've never ridden a train before. So, you know, in that kind of uh, situation, I guess I should thank my grandmother for saving my life. Um, because... You know, it's a very sweet thing that she did for me. But it was weird. It was weird reading the letter and then getting... Like, I was reading it like, oh yeah, I remember like throwing those paper airplanes. I remember walking to the beach. I remember feeding the ducks. I remember... What? No? <laughs> Train? When when did that happen? You thinking, you thinking of the right person? Did this, this happen to somebody else? But my sister verified it, so it uh, couldn't have. It's peer-reviewed. Oh anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.